Hello everybody, Dmart95 here, about ready to do a quick video about the Tata 232 4 valve. Uh, I'm building this one for a gentleman over in London. Uh, he's really spared no expense and he wanted me to take some pictures. Well, at the same time, I've had an awful lot of questions about can a 232 go on a ruckus? Well, it can. But you have to do a few things. You have to get a frame conversion mounting kit. A lot of them have to have a rear wheel swap. Uh, they, they're called fatties. Uh, they come in different sizes. I've seen them 12 by 8, uh, 10 by 3, or uh, I don't know. But anyways, I'm not real familiar with the ruckuses. All I know is you can do it. Yes, you can put a 232 on a ruckus if you get the frame conversion kit. Basically, it hooks your mounting points up right here and right here up for the uh, uh, ruckus frame. Those can be purchased through a variety of online ruckus shops. You can find them all over the net. There's a lot of places. But anyways, I wanted to kind of talk about this Tata because this one's unique because it's a water-cooled four valve. It's got a plus 8.2 stroker kit in it 32 millimeter pwk carb this is a hoka 32 millimeter hoka intake tata starter 12 pole stator and flywheel and this is really nice banjing uh microchip cdi direct it's got your cdi and coil all built into one thing uh, now in addition this is uh this is Tata's radiator water pump filler this is your thermostat this isn't on at all times this only kicks on when it gets up to a certain temperature I don't know what temperature this kicks on and off uh, but that's how it operates and something else back here we have the oil cooler yes this thing is going to have an oil cooler and a water cooler now why would you want both good question the reason is right here the the cylinder and uh head and everything this gasket right here in between here the base gasket also acts as an insulator so, that's why you have this fan on here and the plastic engine cowl to blow cool air up in here. Because the only cooling that it gets is through the internals of the engine. As to where a lot of these other metal parts, they're making contact in some way or another. So, you water cool the top half and oil cool the bottom half. It means you don't even need a fan shroud or a fan. I just put that on there because, I don't know, maybe the customer wants it, or maybe he doesn't. But, that's only one part. I'll flip it over and show the other side here in a second. Or actually, I'll go ahead and do that now. So here we have the other side. What's really, really cool about this, this buyer is not sparing any expense. He's got the nice Dr. Pulley variator. He'll be going with a Dr. Pulley HIT clutch. That's about the nicest one you can get right there, in my opinion, for a GY6. Uh, he's getting the same exact thing. He purchased his somewhere else, and he didn't get a bell. And I have no idea where to get a bell uh, by itself. So if anybody sees this video and knows where to get a bell, uh, Dr. Pulley... Let us know. Uh, what he's going with instead is the Beijing, the chrome snowflake design. That is going to look really, really nice. The variator is nice and shiny. So, uh, bam, it's going to be like that. That's going to be sweet. What I'm waiting on, the last part, I had to order uh, the drive shaft for his rear tire because he's converting. He's going with the 12 by 8 fatty. And uh, I had to order the drive shaft. I don't stock that. That's not Normally, I only work on the GY6. 
I don't specialize in the ruckus, so I'm not real familiar with the frame and, you know, what's all involved with the swap. What I specialize in is right here, Tata parts for the GY6. I go through a lot of it, but this customer asked me to build this engine back when there was still snow on the ground. And, of course, now it's all melted and... Business has really picked up, and I don't have much time to take on jobs like this. So it's going to be real hit and miss if I'm going to be able to take on a build. More than likely, if you want something like this, you're going to have to buy the parts and build it yourself. I just simply don't have time. So, but anyways, moving on, uh, I just wanted to show the customer everything that was involved and try to answer some of the questions out there. For people that have a uh, ruckus and are considering a Tata swap, yes, you can put a GY6 Tata on a ruckus. However, it's expensive. This is the biggest or most uh, question I get. People always email me and say, how much is a 232? Well, 232s are different. Sometimes a customer may want standard bearings. Sometimes they may want TPI, Viton seals versus standard seals. Uh, four valve instead of a two valve. Uh, no carburetor, a carburetor. No starter, no CVT. You know, every engine's different. But just to give you a base idea, you're looking at around, uh, somewhere around, 1750 to 2250 for the standard uh, two valve, and anywhere I'd say from 2000 to 2500, 2000 to 3000 for the four valve. And you know, it really depends on what accessories you want to go. And that's not even this customer, I didn't even charge them nothing for labor or anything. I really wanted to build this anyways. Uh, these are always my favorite builds. I love it when a customer doesn't, you know, spare any expense when they want the best of the best. Because, I don't know, I just, when you're dealing with such good parts, it's kind of like, you know, when someone wants to put a typical GY6 part on a Tata, it's kind of like, you know, having a Porsche and asking if you can throw a 350 Chevy in it. So, I don't know, it's just something that doesn't make sense. This one made sense. I am really, really looking forward to hearing this customer's results and seeing his final pictures. So, just so we're clear, there's the 32 millimeter monster carb. That thing is wicked huge. I had a hard time finding an intake that would fit. Dr. Pulley Variator. Got 14 gram uh, sliders in there. Water cool, radiator, fan, pump. I also went ahead and installed a spark plug in GK C7H7A. You're probably going to want to throw a, a iridium in there after you get the engine broken. So anyways, before I make this video any longer than it needs to be, uh, I guess that'll about wrap it up. Uh, this is D Martin 95. If any of you are interested in, uh, obtaining Tata parts or possibly even getting a build done, contact me at, uh, dansgaragetalk.com. That's my web form. Or you can go to my store, uh, shop.martinmopeds.com. Shop.martinmopeds.com. So anyways... Thanks, guys and gals, for watching uh, this video. And if you have a ruckus and was curious about the 232, I hope I answered your question. Uh, you know, And if you own a ruckus, try to chime in in the user section in the comments because your input helps other readers and other commenters. Uh, so, anyways, thanks for watching the video. D Martin 95 and I'm out.